Hello, my name is Adam Bean and today I would like um, to um, show you how I structure Java E applications, Java 6, Java 7 or even Java 5. So um, let's start with a simple Maven project. So I will use um, an archetype and this is the um, com air hacks archetype. So I will use just that. The, uh, just go with that. And I will call the project um, Java EE or just structure. Um, so, and it just created a minimalistic um, Java 7 project. I already um, recorded a screencast which discuss the structure of that. So, uh, let's assume you will, would like to create a blog. And um, so the basic idea is there is a, a boundary between the presentation and the business logic and um, the boundary is like a really hard interface and I would like to call that, let's say, why not just block and the package would be your company name and uh, blogging engine would be the, the, the product name or the project name and I will start in business and um, I would like to create a component posts uh, with the package boundary. So, And um, you could call it block or block engine, probably better. And the uh, block engine has a method called um, save post, let's say. This is a string with a message. And usually, it always is, in my case, a stateless session bean. And stateless session bean, the, the reason for that is because we need uh, transactions. And uh, I would like to participate in monitoring. And yeah, and this is the easiest possible choice in Java 5, 6, or 7. It's just to use the EJBs. So it's just one annotation. So um, now we are in the posts boundary package and I would like to create another class. I would like to, to, to call the class, let's say, post validator. And I will put that in the control package. So I will talk about the packages, package name a little bit later. This is the um, post validator. And the post validator is just a manage bean with simple method is valid and let's be optimistic so I will just return always true so and now we can just inject the uh, post validator to um, to the block engine and just use it here so also interesting, let's just change the view, uh, view Java packages as reduced tree. This is a nicer view. So we have components here, the you see the component posts, comprises boundary and control. So and uh, also I would like to have the actual post. And the actual post is an entity, so I put it in the package entity. And it has uh, one annotation called entity, which was this is persistence entity um, and let's say one ID it actually does not matter Prot. oh um, it actually doesn't matter, it's just, just fine for the structure. So, and the boundary, this is actually the point, would have a reference to the entity manager. Yeah. And uh, persistence context. And you could merge or you can create a new post. New post. 
here with the message of course okay you would like to have the message and then just create that so uh, we have one constructor with the message and one constructor without so so this would be a basic java component now why the strange name one why posts and what happened behind the scenes so um i just I like to use standards. Why standards? Because uh, with standards you can minimize or shorten the meetings. You don't have to discuss about the names. And um, what I created here, I created a component with the, with the name posts. And why posts? I assume that um, the, dom the um, domain experts, bloggers in our case, the bloggers know what posts actually mean. So I always name the components after business responsibilities. And now within the component I always have the same structure and there are actually icons. This is the boundary, this is the control and this is the entity. So we had here the boundary, the control and the entity in these layers. And why I use this naming and the patents? First of all is really convenient. If you look at the code, you have uh, they are sorted in in right way boundary control entity. But the real reason is this is a very old standard. It was uh, it is actually older than UML, and you can you can use it for modeling with whatever tools you have. Any UML tools I know support this notation, and uh, even um, Gravel on Mac or, or just drawing programs, um, uh, uh, applications also support this. So, um, and um, I try to structure my Java E projects after business responsibilities and never after, after technical responsibilities. In my opinion, naming a component after the, their technical contents like um, EJBs, manage beans or exceptions or interfaces is just uh, not very maintainable way to, um, to, 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 to structure your applications. So, um, so thank you for watching and yeah, see you in one of upcoming conferences, um, projects or uh, even air hacks. So um, thank you very much.